You heard about life insurance, but you don't know anything about it. Well, I can help. Today, we're gonna go over the basics of how life insurance works. My name is Julius Gilger, and today we're gonna to be going over the basics of life insurance, so let's get right into it. So life insurance is intended to give you peace of mind while you're alive. Also, life insurance is really meant for the people that are left behind when you're gone to provide protection for your family. Now, if you have someone that depends on you, you should have life insurance. If you have a kid, maybe you have aging parents, someone that's depending on you, you should have life insurance. So unfortunately, when someone passes away, death is not free. There's additional expenses that arise when a person passes away. Not only are there additional expenses, but there's loss of income. If there are two incomes in a household and a person passes away, now that household goes from having two incomes down to one. You're gonna wanna make sure all your bills are covered and there's no financial burden on the family that's left behind when you're gone. In my opinion, I think life insurance should be mandatory. I mean, think about it. People have insurance on their house, people have insurance on their car, but most people don't have insurance on the thing that's number one to all of them, which is themselves and their families. So maybe you're a parent with children. It could be minors or it could be someone with special needs, or maybe you own a property with someone and you wanna make sure that that mortgage is taken care of in the event either of you pass away. Maybe you can't afford to pay for the burial and funeral costs when you pass and you don't wanna leave a financial burden. Or maybe you own a business and you wanna make sure that that business still stays running so it can help provide for you and your family. Now these are just a few examples of why someone needs life insurance. If one of these examples relate to you, then you should probably make sure you have life insurance because someone depends on you. So if you're approved for a life insurance policy, you're going to be responsible to make premium payments. And by making those premium payments, the insurance company is going to guarantee that the benefits, the dollar amount be paid out to your beneficiary tax-free after you pass. All right, so once you get approved for a policy, what do the life insurance companies use to determine your premium payments? So there are a few factors and it's all based on risk. So the companies are gonna look at a bunch of different things and I'm gonna list some of the main things that they're gonna look at to help determine what price you're gonna pay. So a few things that will determine that are age, health, gender, tobacco use, driving record, and the lifestyle that you live. So all that plus a few other factors will help determine the risk and that will ultimately determine the price that you're gonna pay for your policy. All right, now the process for getting life insurance is actually pretty simple. So the first thing you have to do is you have to complete an application. Typically you're gonna do that with an agent or a broker. Now the insurance company, they're gonna look at risk, they're gonna evaluate your risk to determine if they will accept you as a client for this policy. So once you complete a life insurance application, it's then gonna be sent to underwriting and underwriting is gonna help determine the risk and what you're going to pay for this policy. Now there are two forms of underwriting. One is traditional and the other is simplified. So with traditional underwriting, the process may take a few weeks from the time that you do the application to the time that the medical exam is actually completed to the time that the insurance company actually receives the information from your medical exam, processes it, and makes a decision. Because it takes a few weeks to process and go through underwriting, that also delays the beginning of when your coverage begins. So if God forbid something were to happen and your plan has not already been approved and been put in place, your family still may have a potential liability if that coverage is not in place. Now the second form of underwriting is simplified issue underwriting. So with simplified issued underwriting, you fill out an electronic application and now there's an electronic or digital underwriting platform that these insurance companies have that in many cases will give you an instant decision. Because these companies will give you an instant decision, they're not going to require a medical exam, no blood work, no urine, nothing like that. However, they will be pulling your medical records, they'll be pulling your driving records and any other information they need to evaluate risk similar to how traditional underwriting works. However, it's all electronic and it's all super fast. So the benefit of simplified issued underwriting is that you can get a decision either right there on the spot 
or within 24 hours so that way your coverage begins really quickly. That way you can remove any risk of something bad happening to you or your family. Hope this video helped you learn the basics of life insurance and how it works. If so, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you're an agent and you're looking to join a team, go ahead and click the link below and our team will get back to you within 24 hours. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video.